need to re remove the six screws here, 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 and here. Possibly you might have push pin uh, pop rivets. And once you remove all of these, the hood will, I mean the grill will actually come off this way. Because down here it just pushes in. So I pulled the bottom of the grill out. And now I can just unattach the blinker like this to remove the grill entirely. I don't like to work with this in my way. On the outside of the existing lights is this bracket. I've already installed uh, this bracket, but I did not put the anti-flicker in there. So now we will be removing it again and adding the anti-flicker in there. To remove the fixture from this adapter, this red piece needs to be clicked all the way up. So sometimes you might need to get a flathead, but I didn't need one because I've already done it recently. So I will now add all of the stuff for the light. I've added this extra harness that has a crossover from the H13 pin connector to the H4 pin connector. And then in that chain, I also have the H4 pin connector for this LED uh, anti-flicker, error-free module. Um, Apparently if you an H4 right here, you can just plug this directly in there without needing this extra harness. And then that plugs into the H13 harness that's already existing on this light fixture. And so this one, I have it on my driver's side, I have it labeled one. Uh, that is important because uh, when I attach this wire in, which is part of the LED uh, control unit, it needs to be one. And at the same time, when I wire in to the blinker wires, uh, it needs to be the one as well, because over here on this unit, you have several wires on it. You have your red, black, and then green and blue. And so one, two, and then red, black. So negative, positive, and then which blinker you're tapping into. So I've talked everything in there, all of the connectors, and then just make sure that you have the one wire going to the one, and then here you go. So I'm ready to put the bracket back on to attach it. So what you want to do is to hook up the ground wires. I splice it in, but you can do it many different ways. I just figured this was the easiest, cheapest way. And so uh, this, um, it's. Mine is bluish and greenish with white line, but so is the one in the middle, but it's opposite of the black. The black is the ground. This is the turn signal, and this is the parking lights. And so we don't want it to go off all the time, because if you did par parking lights, it'd always be amber. We want it to only turn amber. It'll come out of the color into the amber if you hook it to this one. Okay, so now I have them all hooked up. Um, I haven't wired up the parking light yet, but I have it ran directly to here and here. Um, in the app, there is a power button at the very top that you can turn them off with. Um, I probably will end up hooking them to an accessory port soon inside the fuel box and inside the fuse box. Okay, it's fluttering much more in the video than it is in real life. Uh, it's almost as consistent as the blinker light, but here it flutters probably because of the oscillation of the actual video being taken. You can see the rest I have them right now scrolling through colors. So that is what it looks like. Um, and so they hook up the other parking wire, but that one will go into number one coming off of here. Number one. So. There, now, now that everything's done, I have uh, everything kind of running underneath this plate and zip tied. That way everything will look clean.